For girls or like little kids, dolphin. It's Let like, me ask you about dolphin. It's like the Bro- it's like being a fan of like the the the, the Brooklyn Nets. It's like it's, it's not a real franchise. <laughs> it's not a real franchise. <laughs> it's like it's for little kids. Let me sit down, man. If you're with a guy, right? You're, you meet a dude. You're in Vegas, okay? Just to L- Listen to the scenario, okay? You're at you're at, you're at the win. You're mm-hmm. by the pool. I'm at the Cosmopolitan September 30th. <laughs> nice plug. <laughs> Okay, can you just delete that part? Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. just bleep that or whatever, because that's that's not what the show's about. Tickets moving quick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah. I'm not gonna endorse it. You okay. Know, I'm not on the campaign. Okay. And you're gonna have to bleep that out because I don't want that. Okay. On my show. <laughs> I mean, just this promotional stuff. You know, it's silly. You yeah. know, and I it, I feel used sometimes. Yeah. You know? So don't do that. Do that. Yeah, I want to talk about dolphins. Okay. Right. And um, where are you playing? Cosmopolitan, September 30th. Radio City Music Hall, September 22nd. Theater at Madison Square Garden, September 23rd. And you know what people just heard now? What? Boop, 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 boop. Ble- <laughs> that's it, baby. Bleeping all that shit. What's up, Thick? I didn't know you knew Thickies. Thicky, that's my baby. Oh, wow. That's a, I sleep at his house. Really? Mm-hmm. He's got revenant the, face. The know, beard is incredible. <laughs> Look at that. like, that's your gold beard right how there, How long have you been in the woods, friend? Years? Amish, baby. Is he Amo? He looks... His name's Zachariah. Zachariah <laughs> Thick. Zachariah Thick. Thick. Boy. Let me ask you something. In the, yes, you're I, in Vegas. I, I, I'm with right? a guy. You're at the win. Okay. Right? You meet a guy, right? Mm-hmm. You were gambling. You met a guy. I like this guy. Cool guy, you know? Mm-hmm. Then you're at the pool. Mm-hmm. He takes his shirt off. Okay. There's a gigantic dolphin. <laughs> just, but when, not even like, you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like. Right. Jumping. You know how the. You know how dolphins have to jump out of the water and act a, a fool? Right. They breach. Yeah. Right. They act a fool. That's what I call yeah, it. Yeah, they like to play around. You know what I mean? yeah. They like to showcase their little gay little right. bodies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do I do? A what tattoo do you... on the chest? Yeah. Or a real dolphin? <laughs> you think, yes. A real <laughs> actual dolphin. dolphin I don't know. to his chest? Wait, there are dolphins in Vegas, right? Like, I don't that, know. If that, uh, that guy I would hang out with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That guy I, I, would I hang out with him. I still hang out with him. Oh, really? I still <laughs> hang out with him. I, yeah, think yeah. That, I think that he's still fun. He's into sea life stuff. <laughs> he's probably got drugs, you know? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely drugs. on drugs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, f- you fuck around with him a little bit. I don't mind a dolphin tattoo on a man's chest. On a lower back is more of an issue for me. Okay, he had a, what, what, he had one on his lower back? Lower back, no. Okay. No, 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 I don't like lower back. I want, on the chest, I don't mind. Something sexy about the chest. Okay, what if the dolphin, right, is like blowing a manatee? Okay. Wow. Right, so there's a manatee. Mm-hmm. I don't, what do they sound like? Really quiet. Yeah. That's what it's like. Oh, oh, they're like monks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're like sea monks Very or whatever. Right? Okay. Oh. Okay. Right. That's what they sound like when they come. Thick. And then um, <laughs> it, the dolphin <laughs> blowing them, right? Yeah. Still, you would hang out? I would hang out because, because I'm more open to new experiences now. So I'd hang I out with them. This is the new you. I, lo- I'm, I love I, it. I would hang out with them. I love it. Too. I would hang out with them as long as he has. Like mine, just like me. As long as I say to him, you have a dolphin on your chest, you have a manatee on your ass. The only question I have for you mm-hmm. is what are you going to do come November 2024? If you're going to go do the right thing, you're my guy. If you're going to go the other way, <laughs> fuck you and your tattoos. And, okay, so I, get what you're sa- I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So I have a manatee dolphin gay tattoo on my chest. Yes. Right? Yeah. We're at the pool, right? Yep. Yeah. And then you ask me a question. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, I like your... Trump. Yes, come back to my. <laughs> yes, I'll oh, fuck you. That's yeah. how. Yeah. We fuck. We fuck. Room twenty four fourteen. Oh, we fuck already. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the door. Right. Open. You yeah, just no. did this with your, right? You did right. this. The double. Yeah. When yeah. you and I have a cult, yes, because we're gonna have one. Uh huh. This is a thing. Yes. So everyone's. St- I've never seen. I'm it, gonna be the next Chris dude, D with a cult. He's gotta be in the. Yeah. Our, he's gotta be in our cult. He's in our. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But he's like the janitor guy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like he cleans the you know the communal toilets, right? He's the enforcer. He doesn't uh, enforce. No, no he, he doesn't he's enforce me. Boy. He's burly. He's burly. He's, he's the, burly, but he doesn't enforce me. Okay. Right. He'll be. He, he might enforce you. Right. Right. But he, I'm going to be like, hey, get your thick guy yeah. away from me. Because Koreans are. <laughs> he's, trying, he's trying to enforce me right now, and I'm like, no, because you guys are back. <laughs> Koreans are back. We've always been in. No, 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 but no, 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 no. You're back. We never, now. we never went no, away. Asians are big. Asians are back now. Asians are big. Well, tell me about it. Asians are big. We tried to get them out again with the whole Maui stuff, but it didn't work. They're back. <laughs> 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 yeah, you tried to burn us out. We tried. Yeah, yeah. Direct and energy weapon. We yeah. tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they're, they're still 
kids missing, but you know. No. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Well, the, yeah. I know you want. <laughs> I know. I, I, I've kidding. helped. I've donated hey, the, all the money this. I could to, I've, to Maui. Yeah. I've no, it's changed. It's not I this. Do. It's not this, dude. It's this. This is something different. Hitler. Yeah. Yes, that's Hitler. And this is our thing. Our, okay. Because this points to our mind. I like the white nail polish. Thank you. We have matching toes, too. We have like matching toes. Ma so you match his fingers with his toes? No, our toes are matching. Oh, toes are matching. Yeah. Also white? Yeah, white. Well, nice. I mean, behold it. Woo! I like that. You do? Yeah, because I, you know, you guys are who you are. I like it. I like your energy with each other. There's no bullshit. There's no bullshit around this. Oh, I like time. that. There's no bullshit around this. Time. I like that. Let me, I, I, you know, because I, I know some something about you, you know, and I know that you, we we're probably the only Asians you fuck with. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I fuck with um, fuck with you guys as Asians. Who else do I? Um, I was Ronnie Chang. I fuck with uh, my my um. I call myself. I have a stage name at the comedy store. I'm, I'm on the lineup as Donnie Chang. Yeah. So I'm on Donnie Chang. Yeah. So I fuck with Ronnie. I don't know that he loves it, but I definitely fuck with Ronnie. Wait, wait. I, you're at a point now at, at in your career where you get to change your name on the lineup. I only change my name on the lineup because I'm doing big shows in New York. So I, I, you wanna, you know, when you're doing big shows in that city, you, you want everyone to just go to those big shows in New York. It's funny that you say that because what I do then in that situation is just not play New York. Yeah, but I go, but I want to be because there's so many different, different cities, and now you're just money grubbing. No, but Papi, I'm not even getting paid to do a comedy seller or any of those. No, that's my point though. You, you want to do you want to do the big. I'm not being controversial, right? And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to like you know what I mean do what you do, right? But what I'm saying is you're doing the big shows in, in New York, yep. the theater shows, yep. to make money. Money. But you, there's other cities, so why don't you not do the fucking New York shows and just play the seller? Oh, and so we can advertise because because for me personally, for me, I'm what's this right now? You know what that is, <laughs> and <laughs> you can. But what, what that I know, is. but I don't like that in my face. You're gonna have to deal with it for what, four what more years. <laughs> I know. What is that? <laughs> what, what? What kind of person is that thing? He's from Atlanta. No, what? Yo, really? Atlantis or no Atlanta? <laughs> okay, from no, the but, south. No, this no. is what this is what this is what the enemy looks like. He's not white though. He's is what he identifies as white. But he there's put, no there's. I feel like there's mixed with like well, Maz no, Jurani kind he's of. He's actually he's actually the best. No, no, he's white. He's white, but he can also pass as Mexican or Islamic. He's, but he is white on he's birth a of shape shifter white. Yes, wow. I love yes. shape shifter white. Yes, because this right here he shifts into one thing: white piece of shit. That's it, <laughs> right? He's a, he's he's your very rare Catholic shape shifter. Normally it's Jews. Whoa, mm. yes. Yeah. Because if I saw like a photo of him with the people that like you know you know did nine eleven whatever like mm -hmm. on the plane or whatever, it looks like it. Yeah, I'd be like, oh yeah, I, I buy that guy. No, but he's not. He's. But the, then if I see him in the, like in the nineteen forties. Out in California, yeah. farming yeah. with the Mexicans. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, nobody. I don't know why in the 1940s. You know what I mean? But he looks like a 1940s Mexican. He does. How true do you think his shirt is? Stand up, Bobby. Is that a true statement? No gaping holes here. Um, <laughs> do I think it's a true statement? I would say it's a pseudo truth. Okay. So I would think that I would say that it's a pseudo truth that it 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 is true. It's the baseline truth. I think at moments of the day, for sure, you're gaping. I don't think that you're <laughs> always gaping. So I want to say that it's true now, but through the lifetime of you wearing that shirt today, I think at some point today you will be gaping because I don't think that with the experiences you've had in your life and the things that you've done in your history, you can't not gape a little bit each day. Oh, I see. <laughs> that, okay. Gaping you know, progression. It's almost like an accordion. Like, you know, it's, 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 it's a pressure system. It depends on the barometric pressure. If you're going to higher elevation, if you're taking a flight, there's no way you don't gape. Mm. But if we're at sea level, you know, you just told me you just woke up. I don't know that you're necessarily fully gaping right now, but you will gape at some point. So no gaping holes here might be true right now at this moment. By the end of this podcast, I don't know. May, may, the, may, may, Delilah is gaping may, may, all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's she's in the she's in the, the head of the gay pride parade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen. <laughs> she says she has two gaping holes. Oh yeah, I'll yeah. be honest oh. with you. I have yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, yeah. it's like I'm a gape. You're, you're right. Gape. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I gape in John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> you're, that's right. That's right. Very good guy. You're very good and yeah. quick. Thank you. I appreciate. But um, <laughs> don't do that here. <laughs> you be know. slow. Be slow. Be slow Liquid here. death. I love it. It's yeah, my favorite yeah, one. Be slow here. I, I gape during seasons. <laughs> To be Seasonal correct. gaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Christmas. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, why yeah. Christmas? Yeah. Memorial Day. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, I like it. Well, probably something that happened with Santa. Maybe Black History mm -hmm. Month. Mm -hmm. I'm gaping big time during Black <laughs> History Month. I, I love Black right History now. Month. Yeah. Good month. It's a gigantic hole there. My point is, I don't know why we... Oh, why did you even... 
Because uh, we're talking about we're talking shirt. about toenail. We were talking about your toenails matching and things like that. And then yeah. she said, "Do you like your shirt?" So you said to me just before the show that mm -hmm. you, you come to LA and you only do um now you're only doing s some podcasts. Well, because I just feel there's an oversaturation, right, with all of us. I also feel like I want to talk about that. I also feel like. Uh, for me, it's like, what do I want to do with my time? I mean, I, I want to hang out with, with you guys and talk to certain people, but then what, what am I going to do? It's like I'm selling enough tickets for me for my own good where I'm like, I'm having a I, I don't need to do anything else, anything more than this. It's like there's a problem. It's, it's He's just a problems. fucking star. <laughs> no, I'm He's not. A, this guy. No, I'm He's not. He's at a different level. He's a star. No, no. Wow. You sell twice. You hear his tone? Oh, you know, I do Madison Square Garden now, so I don't know. No, the theater at Madison Square Garden. Not the real Madison Square Garden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The little one. But you you sell twice as many tickets as I do, but I'm telling you, my, me and my own world. I don't life, sell the I, I don't sell tickets like you do. Yes. And that's a factual event. Are you <laughs> Yes, yeah. you guys do. You have much Together. Bigger, okay, but you have much bigger podcasts and much you probably have more podcasts. Views more more money coming in, more tickets being sold. Uh, but I'm saying that's I'm not okay. true. Uh, that's not true. I'm, but I'll let you have it. I'm Th saying I'm okay. I'm okay with what I have in my life. That's why I'm, not, I'm why okay. I'm, I don't need to go okay. do all the podcasts. I just want to talk to the people I want to talk to. Mm. I, don't, I don't care if I get because I'm saying if you told me, oh, you'll sell more tickets doing this, but I don't want to talk to them. At one point in my life, I do that, but now I'm like, I'd rather just have lunch with with Dicky. Okay, let me ask you another question then. All right, let's divert from your own ego. Ego is the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. You're a humble guy. No, I'm not. And I love you. And I, I honestly think, <laughs> I, I honestly think, you're, I honestly, that my honest truth is, you know, is I just think you're one of the funniest guys on planet Earth. Let's move on from that. Well, tell the people in Kansas City that because the tickets aren't selling. That's a tough market. It is. You know what I mean? Kansas the Uptown is? Theater. Shout yeah. out to Uptown Theater. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough market. Not doing well. So, um, do you have a fear? Because sometimes this fear arises within me because I'm a human being. I'm so very sensitive. You right. Know? Uh, that you know that this because we kind of hit the jackpot you did 100%. No, you, you did too. no you guys did we all, no, did. We we all, all did. did we all did we all did we all did okay sorry george i'm sorry sorry Vicky. i'm sorry let's go back to <laughs> being relaxed and yeah. namaste about did. this okay okay and do you fear that um it's gonna go away one day um no because because i feel that even if it does go away i would just be thankful for the time i had with it because that's what having kids my whole life is about what the my kids as long as my kids are taking it like you said you're going to take this away from me but my kids will still be okay then i wouldn't care and i would just be like what a great few years i, I have. don't have any kids i know but that's but you know i don't have that thing are you gaping I'm keeping right now. Dude. Yeah, this is all. But that's I have. okay. But it's okay if you guys don't have kids. It's okay. I'm We're just... not even together anymore. I don't know what the fuck are you doing? What? <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Guy, you're quick. So quick. So good, dude. Humble. Quick. That, you yeah. know what? That's Madison Square Garden comedy. That's what exactly it is. MSG, yeah, yeah, yeah. Radio <laughs> City sold out. Tickets still available. Theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I I think that it doesn't matter if you have children or not. It matters like if you know. I don't think you should base your whole existence and your importance and your well-being and you as a human being on what you're doing in your career. That's what happens in Correct. Japan. That's why they have such a high suicide rate Suicide rate in Japan. The sui -wui. Oh. I call it, they call it a sui -wui rate. A high sui -wui rate in Japan is because they... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that real? L write that down because I never heard of that. sui -wui? sui -wui rate. sui -wui. Yes, can you write that down, George? sui -wui rate. i got to Google that later because <laughs> I've never heard the, that. The yeah, company yeah. men? The Japanese, the company men, they have a high yeah, suicide yeah. rate, sui -wui rate because... Because they identify only with their career. That's all they are. Is they that is em, you know embroidered with them. What's that sui wui forest that they love? The sui wui forest in Japan. Oh yeah, where they could kill themselves. That yeah, it's it's, it's a haunted sui wui. Forest. Yeah, I, I yeah. love that sui wui forest. Yeah, because you go in there and you're, you're like, oh, tree, there's a bird. Yes, as you do. Right in a forest. Right there's a tree as yeah. you do. Yeah, there's a yellow body hanging from the tree. That's mm -hmm. different. Yeah. That's, That's different. different. That's a sui wui thing. That's a sui wui thing, and it happens. <laughs> yeah, and it's because they, they, they. You know, there's they're more little, to life than just your career and money. Little, little, they're little people. How do they, they are get little. up? How do they get up there? Because they're little, they have less weight. They can get up there quicker. It'd be harder so for like you to get up there. Like a like a spider monkey. Yes, they go up there, right? If you yes. did the sui wui, how would you do it? I would go to the sui wui forest. That's, that's where, how. That's where all the kids are doing it there. Okay. I would, Steve Aoki's playing there. You know, there's, I, I just imagine it's yeah. sort of like a party. Right. I, mean? I think I would do. I would choose medication. Like I wouldn't want to 
hang myself or hurt myself, I would want to just, I would like, you know, take a bunch of pills. Maybe I'd take like a bunch of Ozempic and just slowly, something, you know what I mean? Like a bunch of pills. (laughs) Yeah. I would do pills. but that's a very pretty girl way to suey wooey. I feel like a girl. Yeah. I feel (laughs) more, I feel more connected with females than I do males, but I'm not gay and I don't pretend to be, but I do feel more like a woman than a man, but that doesn't, but I'm still attracted to only women. I think Mace, I think my personality, my soul might be a gay woman. So therefore, I'm still with women <laughs> mm. and only attracted to women. Yeah. But I, I do think I'm a gay woman. I understand. Yeah. I would kill myself with um, Pro- Propecia. Nice. Because I want a full head of hair when they find me. <laughs> I have a full head of hair. I know, but even thicker. Oh, you like maybe some thick, on my like, face even. Yeah, yeah. Like if I took like three hundred Propecia. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think I would look like this guy? You would. You but, would. But on the upper cheek, maybe. No, but the thing is, Koreans they can't grow facial hair. It's almost impossible. You can't ever get that. Nobody in Korea has that. Who has that in Korea? Seriously. And and, and seriously, I'm going to tell you something. All right. In a year from now, you're going to look at my face and you're going to go, they can do it. In Turkey. No. In Turkey. In Turkey. What do you mean in Turkey? The trans beard transplant. Oh, beard transplants in Turkey. Okay, yeah. Turkey. But I'm talking about natural Korean. Oh, natural. Two okay. things. They can't really grow facial hair and they don't have any smell to their sweat. That's, that's an, true. That's an enzyme thing. That's, a, that's, that's a absolutely fact. true. And we so, don't have Brazilian butts. You do have Brazilian butts. Who? Yeah. You said Koreans do. You, have you seen a Korean with a Brazilian butt? Hey, Brazilian butts are... Oh, oh, you're talking butts. about BBL or just a big butt? The kind that Brazilians have. He's a big butt then. The thing is with Koreans, men and women have the same butt. You can't tell a man from a woman from the butt. You can in other cultures, but not <laughs> Korean. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what it is? At least in South Korea. I don't know North Korea. Me, they don't okay, have okay, that footage. Okay, let me just show you. So what you're saying. <laughs> yes. Let's, let's be honest. Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> I don't want to do this. Well, you you do. Did you hear his voice? Have to, I don't want to do this. Then turn it this way. Sit here. Come on, Don. Get it on. Sick, 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 Don doesn't sick, want to be on podcast. Sick, He's in the writer's strike. We'll, we'll blow your face off. Yeah. We'll blow your face off, right? <laughs> so you're at a Korean strip club. Yeah. All right? Uh, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Okay. You have no idea what's going don't on. Don't look above right. the so tits. Can I, can I get some um, strip club music, please? Thank you. Boom, 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 Everybody. Everybody. Wow. He's really <laughs> rubbing it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> everybody. 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 <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Yep. From, from, from the front, he would know you would have to from just the front, back up. But not, not from the back. Not from the back at all. Do you can't tell who that why, was, guy or girl. Why, do you know why I turned around? Tell me. Because from behind, he, or, he was already sold on it. Yeah. Right. So in his mind, he's like, <laughs> I don't care what gender now. Right. right. So now I can reveal myself. Right. And he still smiled. Right. So that's a, that's a Korean trick. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what I we, like. Yeah. We, that's what we did during the Korean War, man. Yeah. Korean War. Yeah. People don't talk about that people, war enough. Whoa. You want to go to history? No, not really. I actually, <laughs> I, I'm tired I, of it. <laughs> I, I actually don't know much about the Korean War. Me either. But it was bad. I know that it was bad. But do you, um, there's two things I want to ask you, okay? Yes. Um, let's, uh, history, let's put that aside. Okay. okay? Here's another thing that I want to ask everyone in the room, okay? okay? And this is something that's been plaguing me for the last 10 years. And you're going to think it's a joke, and you think it's going to be like, oh, what is he even talking about, right? Mm-hmm. But it's a real concern for me, mm-hmm. okay? <laughs> Draft Kings! Draft Kings Rainmakers football is back, y'all, for its second season. And it's bigger and better than ever before. Head to DraftKings.com slash audio and sign up to play Rainmakers today with code BELLY for your share of over $30 million Woo! in prizes this football season. This week, new customers can claim their first pack or digital player cards for free to get started. Draft Kings! Playing Rainmakers football is simple. Each DraftKings digital card represents an athlete and scores points based on their real-world performance. Draft them into weekly contests for your shot at, at, at a share of $30 million in prizes or sell them anytime on DraftKings Marketplace. DraftKings! This contest requires no fee to join as long as you have enough cards to complete a lineup. Rip packs, build your collection, and earn big rewards. What, honestly, like we, we love using DraftKings when we do UFC fights and stuff like that. It's so fun to do, guys. 
Wondering how to get started? New customers visit DraftKings.com slash audio today and use promo code BELLY to claim a free starter pack only at DraftKings.com slash audio with code BELLY. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Rainmakers contest not available in certain states. One starter pack per customer. Starter pack player cards aren't eligible for resale. See terms at DraftKings.com slash Rainmakers. But it's a real concern for me, mm-hmm. okay? Because And also, it makes me feel like I'm dumb, and I don't understand things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you think that I'm dumb? Do I think that you're dumb? Mm-hmm. I don't think that you could achieve the level of success you have if you were dumb. I don't think that anybody who can get to your heights, God bless whether you, if you think that it's luck or you don't deserve it or anything, you can't be dumb and get as high as you've gotten. Same, I'll say the same thing to Flava Flav. You can't, mm-hmm. you won't, you well, won't. I'm, you're wait, wait, stop, stop. You guys are the I'm same. Flavor, wait, 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 stop, you guys are the same boat. Wait, wait, same boat. I'm Flavor Flav. Yes. You're, Comedy is Flavor Flav. You're the, Kore- <laughs> you're the Korean Flavor Flav. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, because to me, it's like I, when I look at that guy, I go, I think he's dumb. <laughs> no, no, no. It's perceived. <laughs> That's not even funny, dude. I look at it. Yeah, please. Can I be somebody else? Um, uh, somebody. Uh, you're Korean um, Larry the Cable Guy. High, high levels of success, <laughs> so smart. He's smart. So All right, intelligent. He's, not, he's but, that dumb. But you play, what, what is genius about you is that you can convince audiences to get behind you. you. The only way to play dumb is you have to be exceptionally smart. So you're exceptionally smart, so this way you can play dumb much better. If you were actually dumb, the audience would see through it and you would just never really make it to anything. You're like the Paris Hilton. Yes, Paris Hilton is smart. She really I'm is. I'm Paris Hilton? Yeah. Yes. You know who's dumb? Well. Bernie Madoff. <laughs> He's dumb. <laughs> All you right. know, guys who get caught and go, they're dumb. Why? You know, really, really, do you think that they're intelligent? You know, the, the yeah. woman, Theranos, she's dumb. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you're in jail for 15 Thanos years. Too. Thanos. Th- Thanos, Thanos, dumb. Thanos is dumb. Thanos is dumb. You want to get rid of half of the population? Yeah. That's, Jeffrey a, that's half pussy. Yeah, it's stupid. He, he should be like, I'm going to get rid of half ugly people. Yeah. <laughs> If Thanos said that, I'd be like, oh, I get it. Do it, do it, yeah. Imagine all the hotties still alive. Right. And Thanos like, oh, well, you know. Yeah. I'm, let me st- stick my glove in your twat. Oh, oh love it. God. What, twat's not a good word? I like twat. Twat, I think, I think twat is acceptable, more acceptable than twat. I don't think people, I don't like, like I don't women like I don't like, I bleep that out. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, oh, for you, can't, you no about? curses, clean podcast? <laughs> <laughs> we bleep out dates. Can, yeah. I, can I ask you? Um, what about minge? Minge? What is that? Minge, I'm not familiar with. I've heard it, but I, I would never think about Minge. Twat, I would say my go-to slang name for vagina would be pussy. Pussy's the best. Or your box. I would say, let me see a your box. box is a little uh, too, rick- like, it's just too you don't like hard that? around the edges. No, you it's like soft like, about she it. She got a nice box. No, 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 no. Yeah, but no. I, okay, let me ask you. It's no? not so jagged I, I, and hard. <laughs> like, this thing is, like, wooden. If but, I see a girl... And her vagina is box shaped. Yeah, I'm like, what, am I in Legoland? Right, right. <laughs> exactly. It's a Lego. Yeah, Legoland. I, I, I want to do arts and crafts on your pussy. Yeah, yeah. I don't want box. You want box? I like, I like whole circle. Whole circle's better. Whole vagina. doesn't even sound soft. Pussy sounds soft. Like no, pussy. we're going to symbols though. Like, what's a sim- Like, what's a shape of a vagina? Triangle. More uh, triangle. Uh, 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 I think an oblong. Oh, oval. An oval. Oval's oblong. Good. Is oval's good. good. Oval's good. I like that. Yes, let's go say uh, oval. Anyway, can I go back to my problem? Oval. I used to play, grew up playing basketball at a place called Farmer's Oval. Now it's known as Farmer's Pussy. <laughs> Where we all played. <laughs> so you might not have any interest in what I'm going to about to no, say. No, I will. I will. I, I'll, 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 I'm You're a film guy? I'm not, I'm not not a film guy, but film and music and kind of uh, ner- nerding out about that and knowing about that, I didn't do that at all when I was a kid. So I don't know. So you've never done it? No, never. I don't know. I don't. Well, then I don't even want to bring up what I want. No, but to I want. Up. But I want to learn. But I'm. But I'm in a learning phase. Well, because life. I'm. Because I. Because I, I, I've been watching something and I'm like, what's your take on it? But it's like if you haven't seen things, then I don't. Well, think maybe we I do have it. seen it. You don't know. Have you seen Alien? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Wait, you, you've never seen Alien? Never. I've never seen The Godfather. I've never seen. Wow. Classic. Wow. Why? I don't know. Dude, I've, you got to sit down and watch those things. No, I don't even. <laughs> I don't even um uh I don't want I don't watch it I don't yes yes to well, I mean have you heard of Alien I've heard of Alien it's is okay, well, it Bonnie Weaver mm-hmm. yeah so yeah, based okay. on based on Alien and what you've seen in the posters or whatever in pop culture what do you think it's about Alien I think is about an alien coming to Term. Earth coming to terms yeah coming to terms <laughs> identity with with their yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> with them identifying as an alien yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah, being okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I think that it's about an alien that I would assume goes into a town or a village and starts killing everyone and Sigourney Weaver saves the day. In, 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 on Earth, do you think? On Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. which is different than Predator. Predator and Alien, I would get confused a lot. It's different movies. They're completely different movies. Okay. But they, they did fight each other on, in a couple of movies. Yes, they yeah. did. Okay. So you're, you're completely wrong. Okay. All right. So what I was I'm gonna, okay being wrong. I, and I'm okay that you're right sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm okay. Let's, yeah. It's, let's go back long, to this. Yeah. So, so I want to... I'm a, I'm a, it's okay that you vote right. I, 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 I'm, okay, you're going to vote Republican. He will. By the way, I just, I, I'm going to tell you the I truth. Want to say this. He's going to do it. My politics are my own. Yep. Right. But same with me. But um, I have to be honest, and you know this. Yeah. He's not in the middle anymore. I no. Know no, I'm in the middle. No, he's in the middle, but he's not on the left anymore. No, I was in the left. You are, but you're. I'm in the more in the middle. But then I'm, he just watched the U.S. and the Holocaust, that Ken Burns documentary, I love and that. I feel like it's yeah. it's he's he's starting to lean. Back. I'm going back left now. Going back left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. U.S. and the Hol yeah, 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 yeah. Ken yeah. Burns, good stuff. But the 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 I'm it's politically in the middle too. But I know where you're going. Well, Most Koreans, it, Asians go. They they are sneaky right. about yeah. it, but they go right. Indians, yeah. too. especially the Indians oil, go yeah. right big time. They they want to lie about it. And, oh, look at me, stop the Asian. You go right. <laughs> it's uh, 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 okay. <laughs> I want to say the extremes on both sides are so annoying to me. They are on both sides. That's it. That I have to be in the middle now. Right. The left is so annoying to me. They're so annoying. Right. And the right is so annoying to They're me. They're both, right. both yeah. so annoying. The extremes are I just be a regular guy. Anyway, let's go back to the uh, alien. Let's go. So All right, go back. the question I was going to ask, which you, there's no way you can answer, and I'm going to move me. on after what my question was. Try right? me. Maybe I'll go to him, yeah. right? So you have Alien completely wrong. But anyway, there were these other <laughs> movies. that The last couple of Alien movies were what? Let me ask you. Uh, two, three, and Prometheus. What? Prometheus oh, yeah. and The Covenant. I rewatched those movies. What would you think? Okay, they don't make no sense. See? Mm -hmm. The one with they Michael. don't they don't. Have you seen them? Oh my god! With Michael Fassbender? Yeah, they make he, no. But uh, the, uh, we might have to cut this part. It's so boring. But I just <laughs> oh, I went here. I'm going to tell you. Okay, I'll tell you what the aliens about. Mm -hmm. It's not a. There's no alien. It's a Mexican guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let that see. No, let, let that sink the, in. Your reaction with that sink in. Why are you laughing? It's a good movie. Yeah, anyway, right? There's a fucking uh, a scavenger ship, you know what I mean? Owned by a big corporation. Okay. This is in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're flying around. They're going back home after mining on a planet, you know, as they do. As you do. As you do, right? Yeah. And they're in these pods, sleep pods, mm -hmm. right? Well, for, uh, for hyper sleep. What do you call it? Cry cryogenically sleeping. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. yeah. Frozen. Yeah. Frozen. They, they froze. Yeah, yeah. They okay. froze. Okay. Okay. And if, anyway, the ship detects a, um, a beacon, an emergency beacon. What do you call it? A distress call mm -hmm. on a planet. Okay. There's nothing on the planet. It wakes everyone up on the ship, right? They go to the planet. They put the suits on. They walk around. They see a guy named Jesus. Okay. He was there. And he's like, hey, bro, what's going on? They're like, what the fuck is going on? Hey, bro, let me look at your face, right? And then they, he, he opens his mouth and he attaches his face to the other, one of the astronauts, wow. one of the guys. Sticks his tongue in his mouth. That's called anchor baby. Is that? <laughs> yeah. When you attach yourself, when they, what they'll do with the Mexican, they'll attach yeah. and then so they get the citizenship. <laughs> oh, so if I'm in Mexico, mm -hmm. I'm walking around. <laughs> I see an anchor baby coming my way. Yes. But I decide to like, you know. They're going to anchor them. Right. They, they hook their tongue into my tongue. Yeah. They attach, right? Yeah. I'm going to go home. Yeah. Because he's, I can't talk. Right. Yeah. Hey, uh, can you let go? I'm going to go home. Right. What would he say? The, the anchor baby? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, he, if he, he, well, he, do it what you're attached. Well, I'm a Mexican. <laughs> We're attached. Mexican, dude. I, I'm attached. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, I'm gonna come with you. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I go home with you. Right. So then I get to the border. What happens to the board? Well, he, you said he's become. I thought you were saying that he. Ta I would attach. I'm the anchor, baby. I see you. Yeah. I attach to your face, and then I thought I'd become you, and then I've anchored to you. I have U.S. citizenship now. Is that what we're saying? No. What you? I thought well, this is what you were saying. <laughs> I, oh, I think we're talking about, about two different things. Is, yeah, we're talking yeah. about two different things. I thought you were saying that if I'm in Mexico and a Mexican guy anchor babies my face, uh -huh. and I have to go across the border, but he's surgically attached to my face now, <laughs> then I have to go, give him a green card. Is that what you're saying? 
No, I was saying that alien. You were saying with alien, if they were a distress call from the planet, <laughs> forget it. They're getting. They're... That's not what the aliens about. Mm -hmm. All right, a aliens not about that. Okay. I was lying okay. for comedy purposes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was. I thought. I, so anyway, I thought alien I, was a story I, of I, the migrants. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Why? Well, it's just one alien, one Mexican guy on a planet. How do you get there? I don't know. I mean, they used to make crazy. They made a movie called Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer. They used to oh, make that's true. Wild shit. Anything can happen. Yeah. Anything, Anything can happen. Anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anything, anything, <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I so, believe that. Yeah, I, I believed too. it that when yeah, I watched that think, movie. They think they think they say Abraham Lincoln was gay too. Big gay. Really? That's what wow. they say. Big what, gay. What's, what are they? Why do they think? What's that? the evidence? They just um, not concrete, conclusive evidence, yeah. but they just, <laughs> <laughs> just gaping yeah, yeah. hole. Gaping Wasn't hole. he like Marfanoid too? Didn't he have like Marfan syndrome? Yes. Yeah. Those long fingers. Yeah. They, oh, he was gay, but he had Robert De Niro syndrome. Yes. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yes. Bill Burr syndrome. Yes. They love the, that's the, a syndrome, but they like black people. The president before Lincoln, James Buchanan, was gay. He was gay. <laughs> How do we and know so that? He, he wants was to gay. free the he slave. Had a, he had a boyfriend. He the was eight, open about it. Yeah, no they first lady. Hands. No first lady. They used to call him, they used to call him Miss Nancy. Who do who else in um in US history do we think is gay? Abraham Lincoln gay. Can we go James, can we go back to Abe Lincoln real quick? Abraham Lincoln gay. He had he was uh, he has a black dick fetish. Yes. Abe Lincoln. Yes. He goes, I need, I don't know what he sounds like, but he's going to sound like this in my thing, right? Yeah. yeah. He's going to sound like Trumpy kind of, but um, yeah. he's like, he was Republican. Yeah. Really? Lincoln? I, oh, yeah. There's so much black dick in the South yeah. and they're enslaved. How do I get to him? <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. He's like, Civil War. Yes. <laughs> yes. Civil War. Yeah. Civil right. War, and but... then when they all got freed, he had a party. At a party. Is, is that what you're saying? Yep. Love the, yeah, I think he did. I think he liked Black Hawk. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Seriously. You heard it here first. <laughs> heard it first. Can we go back to Alien? <laughs> yeah. May I, may I? Yes. So anyway, he goes on a plan. These, this, this, everything's fine except for the Mexicans. It's, right? The, there's no Mexican. Okay. They, they see these little pods. Okay. Right? A pod opens up. A little creature comes out, attaches to one of the faces of the um, okay. scavengers or whatever. And then the, he lays an egg. They get back on the ship. An alien creature pops out of his chest. And then the, that's the alien. Got it. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. One alien destroys all the, you know, kills everybody except for Sigourney that's Weaver. That's the vibe. Got it. Except for okay. Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, so, yeah, that's the vibe. So that, that looks like my sleep apnea mask. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have, yeah. do you have a CPAP? No, I, yeah, but I, they joke. want me to have it. But yeah, no. Me too. Yeah. They want me to have it too. Do you have good blood pressure? He doesn't. He has high blood pressure. Uh, that. That's the thing. Go on Losardin, 10 milligrams, small. I'm on umlodipine. What's mm -hmm. umlodipine? Same. It's same thing. Okay, yeah. so do it. You take it. And I am doing it. Your pressure's down. It's down, baby. Okay, What's good. up? You're good, baby. Um, I don't even know why we're going down this alien route because you don't know anything about it, but I'm just going to let's go back to intermittent fasting, too. That helps. With, with the snoring? With weight and with blood pressure and, and sleep. Yeah, don't, don't, eat, don't eat too late at night. Don't eat like three hours before bedtime. That helps. That helps me a lot. That helps. Yeah. I mm -hmm. cannot like I'm very tossy turny. If Don't I, it's it's eating you can't eat, eat late. Yeah, eat in a six six hour window. Can we move on <laughs> from it. I, yep. just get, I get, just get too much. But I also think he has a little bit of a short neck. He does. It could be a mechanical thing. He does have a short neck. He, he needs to see an ENT maybe. Yeah, <laughs> he does. He does have. He truly. Yeah, he does have a bit of a short. My neck. people are short neck people. Yeah, they no. are short neck people. Yeah, yeah. Can the you, original Frankenstein's. <laughs> Excuse, we were. <laughs> You were. We had Franken, yeah, Franken yeah, next. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was called Franken Yang. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting you say that because, you know, my uncles and stuff, they sound like Frankenstein a little bit. No, I know. The, the whole Bob, Frankenstein for Bobby, sure. They made it off Korean. Give me kiss. Yeah. And they kissed me in the mouth. Yeah. Wait, um, I met some of your family this past weekend. It's not oh. bad about them. No, no, no. Oh. They were really was, tall. Oh, want, were they on Theo's podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go. No, they were tall. It's surprising. Yeah, David's tall. He's six foot. Yeah. Where did he get the height from? Because probably, um, what was, so my dad and and David's mom are brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, the dad's tall, mm -hmm. and he has nothing to do with my bloodline. He oh. has, right, he gave, gave the gift that gift. My dad's a fucking oompa loompa, right, from Pusong. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. and he's like malo de yellow pico roto. <laughs> love it. Right? Yeah. I love that. They should do a Korean version of. They oh. should do an Asian version of Wizard of Oz. Right. But yeah. change it a little bit. Right. No Toto. Because mm -hmm. they would have ate him. I know. 
right? Yeah. So you can just cut out Toto. Yeah. They cut him out. out. Right? Yeah. Fucking the Tin Man. Mm -hmm. He's janky because yeah. he was made in China. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Right? Yeah. Scarecrow, no brain. Right. But still went to UCLA. Nice. <laughs> so smart. I like it. Still smart. But Scarecrow's yeah. still fucking smart. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The lion. What? What? His courage is his thing. What? Courage. The lion is courage. Yeah. No, the lion would have been eaten too. Right. Oh, they would eat the. Eat they would the animal, eat the, 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 any animal that's in it. Right. Those flying bats. What are you? Right. Yeah. Done. The flying bats would have been not in the yeah. movie. Right. right. The top. lion. We. They would have ate that. The toto. Anything yeah. animal like. Yeah. They would have eaten. They would have eaten one oompa loompa. They're like, I yeah. think that's human yeah. being. That's and, just tastes human or whatever. And then Dorothy, the red shoes. The yeah. Heel click. Yeah. Except this time, take them off. Pedicure. She's giving pedicure. Whoa, dude! We got yeah. a movie here, dude. Yeah, she's he, she's a she's a manicure. I'll take you another level, dude. Yeah, you gotta change the road to red. Yes. Or like CCP. No, because if it's still yellow, the actors would vanish into the. You wouldn't be able. To, <laughs> what the, you wouldn't be able. You wouldn't be able to see them. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't so be able to see them on the road, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? Dude, to be honest with you, yeah. I didn't even know you were wearing a shirt. I thought you had no gaping That's holes tattooed on your chest. <laughs> 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah yeah, 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 and that's the illusion I wanted to give. Right, right, right. Hence, right. Hence. So, um, and then the Wicked Witch of the East. We keep her East. You keep, yeah, because she's from the, from the East. Wicked right. Witch, Wicked Witch of the Far East. That's we change it to the far, very far east. The very far east. The very far east. Yeah. What else do we put in it? Um. What else do we put in? Well, it? so you know about the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know about the Wizard of Oz. I think that um. I think that what you have is 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 so far so good. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. We just make um. I would make uh. What's her face? Who played Dorothy? Um. Julie. Uh, no. Um. Uh, Judy. Is it Judy Garland? Judy Garland. Judy Garland. Judy Garland. Yeah. Judy Garland. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You keep her in it. I um. Did she die? Yeah. Yeah. She died a while ago. Yeah. Keep throw her. No. I would put exhume her. It will exhume her. You want to exhume her? Oh, well, the Jap Japanese, they'll probably figure it out. Yeah, they'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, <laughs> no, but Judy Garland, no, I don't think you would have, you would have to have a Korean, uh, boy or girl, it doesn't matter who plays it, as yeah. long as they're Korean. Right. So Do maybe, we change the title? Uh, Wiz, we, we just take some letters out. Maybe make you Dorothy. Right. Take the R out of wizard. 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 We, we are wizard. Yeah. Wizard. Wizard. Ob. Yeah. Ob. 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 Yeah. Wizard. Ob. Yeah. Oh, wizard of Ob. You put the, have a Wizard of DMZ. Dude, <laughs> instead of OZ. It. That's it, dude. Wizard of DMZ. DMZ. Yeah, Wizard <laughs> of DMZ. Yes. Dude, that's it. Yes. Dude. What a movie. That's it. Yeah. What a that's movie. It. What? Would what you rather movie? watch that movie? Seriously. Then the black version Oz? No. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. No. Yeah. They didn't no. change much of that. Did they change much? No. They you, didn't change you, anything. You saw the Oz? The Oz, uh, like the ones when they're in um in the in the prison, prison show? No, yeah. no. <laughs> no did, did, didn't they do a Wizard of Oz the, with the Wiz? The Wiz. Oh, the Wiz. Oh, the Wiz. My bad, my bad, my bad. The oh. Wiz. I thought it was a store that sold <laughs> stereos. <laughs> no, not that. Nobody beats not the Wiz. That, not that. Anyway, hey, yeah. let's go back to Alien. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I got to go back. Yeah. Because I'm confused. Why are you obsessed what? with it? How, did you see it recently? No, or? because last night I saw the last. So they did um, six or seven of them, mm -hmm. right? The last two was one was done in 2016 or mm -hmm. 15. The other one was 2018 or whatever. Good year, and 2016. Very good year. Mm -hmm. It's when I lost my virginity. Really? Yeah. Nice. Anyway, um, it's when America thank began. You, thank you, You're baby. Welcome. Yeah. Um, no, I fuck a lot. You do fuck a lot. I f in my past, I mean. You do fuck a lot, but I'll tell you what. You're a guy who's lucky and blessed because not high STD rate. I think a relatively low STD rate for the amount of sex you have. No children. And pretty much, at least for most majority of your sex life, you've been pretty um, connected when you have sex. You're not just using it as like holes. Like I think, like you get connected to the woman or the man when you when you have sex with them. I look in the eyeballs. Yeah, you don't look in the eyeballs. I went through phases where I didn't, but now I do. Now I'm very connected to my girl. Mm. Are you the type that needs a connection before for for you to enjoy sex? With um no. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't need a connection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I you prefer. Do. You I prefer. I prefer a connection. Yeah, but I can be disconnected from the internet too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I have, no I, have, I, have, I have cellular yeah. data. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean? prefer to masturbate now anyway. <laughs> what? I prefer yeah. to masturbate now anyway. Oh, me too, dude. Yeah, I just prefer it. I like it. Even over sex with my lady at home, sometimes I just prefer it. I prefer to masturbate. 
Really? I like it. I just, you know, I know what sex, it's just, it's all I know what it is, same. too. It's, dude, you know, I, I'm with you, dude. Yeah. Explain. I like <laughs> I'm with you. I'm what with you, mean? you. Explain. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about, but I'm with you, dude. Ex- <laughs> Thick, what's going on over there? You're on the phone? He's texting. Okay, go ahead. He says Does he get girls? Great. Great. How? Girls. Lo- g- women love him, but he's celibate Don't, right now. He's celibate. I'm kidding. He's celibate. Back up, Look dude. At him. I'm he's kidding. Beautiful. You're handsome. I was he doing a, a joke, dude. He's celibate. Comedy podcast. This is how LA comics do it. <laughs> this is how LA comics do it. And yeah. you're from New York, but this is a different vibe. Yeah. Okay. He's celibate. Um, oh, I forgot I'm doing Burt Kreischer's podcast tomorrow, too, so I am doing everybody's. So so I now think that, like, sex, to me, I connect with, with you know, with my girl, and, and we connect. But the, other than that, it's just all forms of resistance, right? Sex and all that. It's just all forms of resistance. I'm spending time and energy to chase the girl for my ego. When I, Really, what I'm saying is I'm scared to write. I'm scared to create new material. I'm scared to do the hard work. So let me chase this woman, and then I can justify it. Bro, so you're just blowing my mind. Dude, you're blowing my mind right now, dude. Yeah. I don't even like this talk right now, dude. That's what it is. It's you're, all forms of resistance. Dude, I do... I'm king resistor. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what, dude? Yeah. You're you're ta- you're, you're preaching to the choir. Choir. Hundred percent. Right. And I need to hear this. I do. I. It was my. It was. It was years of my life. Just kind of thinking. Uh. You know, sex and and all that. It, it was just really ego. But really, even more than ego was just resistance. That's all it was. It was me resisting doing the work. Doing the work on. Me as a person, doing the work on me being a father, doing the work on me being a comic, doing it. And we, oh, I'll just talk to girls. And that's how I'm filling up my time. But it's bullshit. So now I just quickly masturbate, get it out, get it right into my belly button, go back to work. <laughs> I see. Yeah. <laughs> that's how, okay. Yeah. That's the how resistance you, now is in my belly button. In your belly button. Yeah. Yeah. Are there <laughs> other things that you resist when you do it? Like, do you have hobbies? Um, no, see, that's another thing. I don't have hobbies, which is not a good thing. You that's, should have hobbies. Yeah. To dis- and I don't. So what I, I read now, I force myself to read. My, I, have a, I, I live in a schedule now. I never, this is new stuff. Sorry, hit your mic. I live in a schedule. I live in a time block, you know, blocks. I live in a blocked out <laughs> schedule. Communists, you guys are good with blocks. <laughs> I live in a timed out block by block schedule. Abacus, you know, Fuck. No. no. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, because you're Chinese. I'm Korean. <laughs> <laughs> I just blew your mind. No. Yeah, yeah. You knew this. I did. I did. Yeah, yeah. I And you're doing jokes. F- from South. Right. Yeah, from the South. Yeah. You're doing jokes. Yes. Well, first of all, I'm an American citizen. So I don't know anything about it. Yeah. I literally have no I I literally, dude, bro, I'm gonna tell you right now. And this is the last time you do this shit. All right. Yeah. I put the fucking my boundary down right here, dude. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to tell you this right now, dude. The jokes are good, Thank right? You. We have a good time, right? Yeah. But can you please memorize that I'm Korean? Memorize it. Okay. You're a smart guy. Yeah. Bright guy. Right. Think of Kim Jong-un, whatever you need to do. <laughs> yeah, but that's the problem. When I think of Kim Jong-un in my head, it's like, that guy looks Chinese. <laughs> good point. All right. Good point. Let's think of somebody good else. Point. BTS. BTS? Yeah. Like, uh, oh, the Korean pop band? Yes. yes. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, see, like that, I, that that guy looks like Elliot Page. <laughs> <laughs> they do all look like, dude, five <laughs> Elliot Page. Dude, dude, they all five look like Elliot Page. That is so, <laughs> that's so true, dude. Yeah, go yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> go back to what <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was, actually. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, then I'd rather you think of Elliot Page okay. than, <laughs> think about- than uh, think about me being Chinese or yeah. whatever. You know no, what I mean? you're from, no, I, I know that you're, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're Korean. So uh, yeah. let me put the boundary down now, okay. all right? Put the boundary down. So I'm going to put the boundary down now. Put the boundary I'm down. Cor- yeah. yeah. I'm Korean. Mm-hmm. Also, if, in your little brain, to try to memorize this part, right? I was literally born here. Mm-hmm. In San Diego, 1971, Sharp Hospital, right? Yeah. I've only been to Korea three times or whatever in my life. Right. Most of them when I was young, maybe four times, three times when I was young. And recently, when you were together when that happened, when we went to Korea or no, before? Mm-mm, before. So I went to Korea before I met her. Right. I shot a music video there. Mm-hmm. But, um, <laughs> but I don't know anything about, I don't know anything about the language. I don't know anything about, I had some food, whatever, you know, but, you know, I don't... I had to introduce them to, like, good Korean restaurants right. in K-Town. That, well, that's true, because, like, a, like an, especially, like, a Los Angeles, like, cucked out, like, white guy knows more about Korean food and delicacies than you oh, do. Oh, cringe, yeah. Yeah, because he's, like, you know, he wants to be, like, white guy, they're into Asian culture and feet and stuff. Uh, why am I looking at George? <laughs> 
He married, <laughs> yeah, he married, yeah, one, he married one. Made already Korean. Yeah, he said Korean. he's that guy. There it is. Look yeah. at him when you say white guy. Yeah, yeah, that's him. They, they make it. They drive you crazy, By right? George. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he looks like a guy with like Asian fe- fe- foot fetish. You, the you, binding, right? A little do, bit. Do you suck on your wife's feet? Oh God. Is he like because he's got his belt on his shoe. He likes to put that belt on her feet. <laughs> oh, they bind the feet. He likes yeah, <laughs> bind the feet. Yes, Walk on my back. That and kind of he, vibe. So he jerks uh, on each toe. He like. <laughs> oh, and he says jerk. things. He's yeah, like yeah. he's like you want. Yeah. He doesn't call it cum. He calls it eel sauce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We win. Uh, you know what? You know, I also, <laughs> last thing, and I'll let you talk, yeah. but let me just, before I end, right? I feel like you're the type of guy that did this, right? When you're in he- heated sex with your wife, <laughs> you whisper in her ear, right? You whisper, you go, hum me the tune. She goes, not again, not again. Hum me the tune. She goes, okay. And she goes, na, 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 na. <laughs> and then you, you come. That's true. You yeah. Know what to do. yeah. You're that guy. Yeah. It's so sad. Yeah. It's yeah. true. When when <laughs> when people, that's so fucked up. <laughs> go back to Alien. Let's go, go back, back to Alien. To Alien. Yeah. Alien Covenant, fucking yeah. Prometheus. Yeah. What are those movies about? Yeah. When people have a f- <laughs> fetish, is it that they want to come on feet? I I don't have a nec- I don't have a foot fetish. Um, I don't I don't necessarily have a foot fetish, but I I would assume they want to come on feet. I don't know. No, they don't. I've never seen. I've so much porn. I've seen. I've never seen anyone come on anyone's foot. No, I never seen anyone True. come. Yeah, on have you ever? I, that's not even a thing. Foot, I had a boy. Don't do anything. I had a boy come on my kneecap. Really? That was an accident. Though. Separately? Yeah. yeah. That was an oil spill. Like, but you know how they do it in but the fucking ocean. But why both then? What? You want to come on each knee, knee? individually? No, no. He he. Uh, it was premature. Ah, uh, okay. He hit so the yeah, that's not. That's yeah. not. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna g- give yeah. me your knee. Yeah. 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 That would be weird. No, but I've had the back of my leg like penetrated. Like in uh, high school when I was, you know, still trying to like keep my um, my V card. It's warm back there. Yeah, so I'm like, can you just like fuck this fat part? It's look look pop- at this. Look how fat the, this is. You know what the name Jeez. of that is? Can you can back me up on this. That's called the popliteal fossa. Mm. Oh, what is that? Uh, Put it in the name. The popliteal. Uh, look, Bobby. That's your popliteal fossa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Open the fossa. That's a good popliteal fossa. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm gonna reveal a little secret. Tell me. And I would never said this before in my life. And I'm kind of embarrassed to say it. Why? But I'll tell you why. When I say it, then you're going to go, wow, that, you should have said that out loud. You know, I used to have, between my toes, my left foot, what was there? Fungus. Exactly. Okay. And I tried Propecia. Not Propecia. I tried. Uh, <laughs> I tried. Um, <laughs> Anything. Uh, tough acting, ten actings. Right? Tough acting, ten acting. Right. I, and I, one time I put a little sperm in between there. Okay. And it went away. Interesting. Oh, wow. Really? I think, I think my little guys fought them. Sperms are cleaner. Yeah, but my, you imagine my little sperms. Yeah. Daddy put us out. In between his toes, right? Look, fun guy. War, war, dude. Yes. So I just imagined that. Yes. Right, right. And my guys won. Yeah. They're still on the field. It's like Normandy, you know. Right. They're still on the beach. You know, my little guys laying in there, between. Yeah. yeah, laying there. Dead. But I think they won the war. I think you probably just hydrated it because when you have fungus, it's really dry and flaky. So negative. See, every what? time I talk about my sperm, you think they're weak. No, and then they can't I fight got in a war. pregnant twice with you. That's Whoa. True. That's true. Nice. They're not that weak. What happened there? Ah. Wanted him out of here. Yeah. I I don't do it. that. Do you regret that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this? The, oh, this is the right wing thing you're doing. Oh, you're right. I forgot. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, shit! Oh shit! Shit! <laughs> there is. Wait, wait, wait. Let okay, that sink in. Let that yeah, sink yeah. in. Let that sink in. I like the. You smart. notice? You notice? Donnie yeah, sat up in yeah, his seat too. Yeah, he too. loves you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, do you? You what? Christian, Donnie? Okay, yeah. So, um, but what do you think? Would you do um, do you? L- l- I'll be honest. You be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's definitely like sadness about it. Yeah. But then I w- had just gotten like a heart procedure done, mm-hmm. like the second time around, and it would have been a really yeah. rough pregnancy. So yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah. You all like it would have. Uh, but yeah. it was sad. You think about yeah. the heart procedure nice, the baby that you killed got. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's yeah. some. That's a different heart procedure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah. What about you? Um, you said this before. What? You did. You said it before, like a couple podcasts ago. What did I say? You were like, I think about it. <laughs> yeah, it affects. It affects them. But I was gonna even add on to that, my friend. Okay, I think about it, and also I think there is a part of regret. Mm-hmm. I think that um, it would have been an extraordinary child. Yeah, I think so. It would have been two child children. Two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. extraordinary. 
Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't know her that well back then. Yeah. We had right. only been together like three weeks. Like three weeks. So, you know. Yeah. I was like, oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know you. Yeah. And then. um. But then the second time around was when it was like a little harder because we had been to b- together a couple of years. Yeah. And also, you know, also back then when I was extreme left. Mm-hmm. I didn't even think about consequences. Right. In that way. Right. Now, you know, since I'm kind of more insurrectionist. Yeah. You know, <laughs> More. I'm a little bit more like I would have yeah. been at the Capitol, but like afar. I wouldn't right. have gone into the building. Right. Would you have? In when I were there? G- January you mean again? Would you go there again? Yeah. Would you go there again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There again? yeah 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. actually, next time I want to set up, I want to do a comedy festival around. <laughs> <laughs> Built an audience. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. And you, you could do it on the stage where they put the noose. Yes. Mike Pence's noose. Yeah. That's right. What it is. Yeah. I, I would uh, maybe put it off the side. I don't know. Yes. That dangly, you know, yeah. pulling focus. Yeah. When you're performing. Yeah. But I, um, um, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Because uh, I think, yeah, it's, it's tough because it's tough to say like a life. You know, when you get an abortion, you're like, oh, it's just nothing. But then it grows up to be something. So I, 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 I have children and have been on the side of abortions. Mm. So I, I, you I pay both. for them. I pay for them. Yeah. Yeah. I pay, I pay for them. I pay for sometimes I, I pay for people that I even have sex with. The girl, I just pay for them. We were together. Pay- you, first of all, what you we were together. We were together. So you pay for it. I pay okay. for it. And I Venmo you. Yeah. No, you didn't. Because I went. How much do I owe you then? Well, I'll Venmo you now. Planned Parenthood covered some of the costs. Bingo, the government. Yeah. <laughs> so you send you Venmo and then you put in the thing, put Borshi Warshi. Borshi Warshi. Yeah. Make yeah. it cute. But you know, as I get <laughs> as I get older, my views are definitely changing. You know about it. Mm-hmm. Well, I had you know my my oldest daughter when she, she first date conceived the baby and we were thinking of the same we were thinking of, and that you know i'm so happy we did it now. first date first date that's what it is puerto ricans baby when she, she we were having sex she went poppy i was like oh, okay and then <laughs> boom and then she and then she so we have our baby and then we have our second baby and um and yeah but i also have been through the port part of abortions too and it it, it it lingers with a guy it i mean it's obviously way worse for a woman but it is a man's head so i'm seeing a girl that has a child and i really like the kid mm-hmm. right and then what are you looking at, man? I'm listening. Yeah, I don't like the way you're looking at me, though, man. Yeah, that. Keep that. I have to hold that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you got to hold that, man. Yeah, right. Because you're, you're. you're I don't like the. I was know. listening intently. No, you're doing a Snake Plissken, dude. You know what Snake Plissken? You know you don't watch a movie. No. You know what, what Snake Plissken is? is? Wait, what? Escape from New York. It was a 1970s movie. Anyway, anyway, um, <laughs> like, you know. Kurt Russell. Anyway, okay. um, I like Kurt Russell. IPad, you were doing that. You were doing yeah. that. You were doing a slink plus. <laughs> okay, that I don't, makes sense. That's what you're doing. That's okay. okay. Yeah. Got it. And I don't need that in my life right now. Yeah. yeah. My bad, my bad. Okay. Yeah. So um, I really love the kid, and um, and in my mind, I'm and 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 this girl that I'm seeing loves her kid, right? Mm-hmm. And I and I and observing him, I I go, I understand why. I never understand why you would even want one, but now that when you see right. the kid and its interactions with the mom. And the fun that you have, it's fun. You know what sure. I mean? It gets you outside of yourself. It creates selflessness. Yeah. And she, he tells me, you know, he asks me questions. I have no idea what the answers are, but I try to answer them the best right. I can. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah. They, you know, he, he likes you. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know, like questions like, you know, explain to me the um, neurology of the human body or whatever. And I'm that's like, I don't tough. even know. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, that's tough. He goes to school. He, he must love a guy like you. Like, how old is the boy? Is the, is, is seven. Boy, seven. So he goes to school. He's school starting. He's oh yeah, my mom dates Kung no. Fu Panda. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. But it's, no, no, stop. You come in here. He snaked you. You snake Pliskin me, huh? Sorry. You come in here and do that after I set the boundary. Sorry. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda's Chinese, dude. Uh, <laughs> Mulan. Whatever. <laughs> still Chinese. Still Chinese. Chinese. It's still Chinese. Oh. It's not Korean, um, right? Come up with a fucking Korean thing, man. Um, Ali Wong. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's. Oh, oh, okay. How about this? My, my mom, my mom. My, all right, you ready? You ready for this? Too, but yeah, you ready for this? Yeah. You ready for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what he says? My what? mom, my mom dates the guy from Squid Games. Boom. Boom. Bang. Bang, bang. bang. Boom. Boom. Bang. bang. Yeah. Do you yeah. see that? Oh yeah, that one I saw. You like that? I, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I like that. I, I really enjoyed Squid Games. Yeah, that was fun. So yeah, so um, but I, I, you know, I look at the kid. I just kind of have a better understanding of why one would want one, and the love. I think yeah, I think whoever, whatever people want to do, you know, their their body, their choice, whatever people want to do. Me ha- having being, I feel like it's a blessing, and I feel like how old is your youngest one? 
The youngest one is two. So, and does he, does boy or girl? Uh, we're going to fully decide on its 18th <laughs> birthday. But, 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 but right now, she does have a vagina. Okay, good. Yeah, she's yeah. a person with a vagina. He, her, I don't care. Yes. <laughs> right, right. And that's your, your life. Yes. But um, he, her. So, My sponsors are Bud Light. But does, <laughs> and does she, when you, obviously, she identifies you. Yes. When she looks at she she knows what daddy. she's looking at. She says daddy. She says daddy. Yeah. And she's happy to see you. Yes. And so is my eight-year-old. Yeah. Very happy. All right. So I've, I've heard comics talk about this. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, sometimes I couldn't get my mind around it, but wrapped around it. But I heard a comic. I want to say his name. But he goes, when I'm on the road, all I can think about is my kids. And I can't wait to get home on Mondays. Right? Do you have that feeling? When you're out on the road and you can't wait to go home to see your kids. Well, first of all, I'm going to get home on Sunday. He's a piece of shit father if he's coming home on Monday. Um, <laughs> He needs to get uh, on the uh, flight okay. Sunday. No, okay. I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, no, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I do. I, I, I feel like now, what I feel like, okay, so two things. One, when I first, you know, parenting journey, because it, it takes years to like, I still don't have to figure it out. I, I don't think, I think it's just the whole thing's a journey. But I would quite often be on the road. And even though I'm doing what I want to do, which my own happiness and everything will only, if I'm happy, it'll be transferred to the kids. So you have to be happy first. It's not a selfish thing for you. You need to be happy first, just like you need to breathe first so you can do it for the children. So what I would do though a lot is I would go on the road and feel this sense of guilt because I was leaving half my brain at home with the children and then bringing half my brain to the comedy clubs and that wasn't doing anybody any good. I'm not there for them and I'm not there for me. So now what I do is when I'm somewhere, I'm fully, both my feet are here. I'm in LA with you guys. That doesn't mean I... I'm not thinking about my children. That doesn't mean I don't miss them. But like I would quite often be like, I shouldn't be. I should just always be with the kids. And that's not that's not being a good parent. That that's not that's not necessarily, you know, uh, doing what's right by them. So now I'm always here. So when I and it helps me actually conserve a lot of energy. So when I do get home, you know, this this is a long trip for me. This is seven days away from them. Wow. So it's a lot that that's a lot. But I say, you know what, I'm going to do this once. And then when I get back home to them, I will be 100% present and fully engaged with them. And For how long? For, um, until, you know, if somebody wants me to do the pod, I'll do that pod. But you're on the road. You're on the <laughs> road. No. Oh, yeah. No, no, on the road, no. I. So what I do now, time is actually a more valuable currency to me than money. I fully agree. Yeah. I and fully agree. The money agree. doesn't mean anything to it me. It does not. I mean, it means something because of survival. And, yes, and sure, sure, sure. But it's like, I don't have, you know, like... Like we have people with money can only say that. No, but right, right, time, thick, right. You and I are on the same, no, right? No, because I you think flu, no, flu, fee, flu, no, no. You guys I'm are flu, fee, flu. I'm with you. I'm yeah, with you're you. with you because you got a little. My point is, no. is that when you don't have that, right? Listen, that's not. No, I'm listening. I do listen to you. You do listen to me, and I'm listening now. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I think though that you can just you can just adjust <laughs> your life if you have less money you all you really need to do is get your basic needs met your basic survival needs met to be happy someone in a homeless shelter right now can be happy if they're not happy it's because they're comparing their life to something that somebody else has but if you can just find a but way cr- cr- that your basic needs are met then i think that you can be happy now, i'm gonna tell you i have all these things i'm not happy distafani yeah this Dist- mm- yes whatever uh, yeah um i want yeah you know what i'm saying i like it so um from now on i want you when i'm in here i want you to you know what i want my name to be to you because I want you to I want to I want you to sexualize me a little bit but also like be dominant I want you to call me for the rest of this podcast Pyung Yung Yang <laughs> Pyung Yum Yang 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 I I said it right oh, Pyung Yum Yang That's right yeah Can we intro him but we haven't introed our guest No no oh, we I haven't done that I don't want uh, no we also haven't done it Oh. Do we need to do it? Yeah, we do. Yeah, now yeah. as Audience. Young Yum yeah. Yang. Yeah, yeah. Five, four, three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and good afternoon and good morning to you. Whenever you're listening, at, at, at any part of the globe, you, know, you could be in the Antarctic, you could be on an island somewhere, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Just, you know, doing whatever people on the island do. Today I woke up, I didn't know who the fuck was going to come today, mm-hmm. you know, because I don't give a fuck, but um, some people I do, <laughs> some people I don't, you know what I mean? This particular, I didn't until he came, mm. but uh, mm. yeah, but it's a good one. Uh, we have a good guest. He's um, from New York. I met him a long time ago on, on Opie and Anthony, him and I did it, and we had breakfast with Opie, remember that? That was really nice. Yep. I, I talk about it a lot, and I did, I had a connection. Anyway, he's a big, he, Madison Square Garden comic, uh, huge comic, huge podcaster, Pinyong Yang. Yeah. Woo! 
<laughs> so fast now. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's um, me. What were we talking about in a second ago? Um, time. Oh, uh, time. Oh, time. time. Yeah, yeah. And happiness. How that? Forty percent, okay. right, of the people that live in this country, right? They don't have. They only have four hundred dollars in the bank for emergency. Yeah, but their basic needs aren't met. He's just saying. I'm, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, is that those you ask those people if time and money are. Well, their basic needs probably aren't met. I, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, yes, I understand. You know, more money. You know, more money doesn't obviously we know doesn't equal more happiness. I'm saying those. You you would be. Like if you gave somebody in another country in like a, a small village in India or something like that, if you gave a nice small Republican village in India four hundred dollars <laughs> yeah, and yeah. their basic needs were met, they would have such a sense of happiness. But in America, when this whole idea is you sh you can't be happy unless you have the house with the white picket fence and the. But what I'm saying you know? to you is is that when you're worried about you're going to get evicted, you can't feed your kids, right? And right, but and your basic you needs aren't met. Basic then. needs aren't yeah. met, so you're not happy. If your basic needs are met, then you should be able to find happiness, but you won't. So most of us won't because we want more, and we're always comparing to others. Yeah. Okay, but comparison is a thief of joy, said by Teddy Roosevelt. Right. Never forget that. To your point. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Comparison is the thief of joy. Comparison is the is the thief of joy. You know, it's my pain comes from comparing. Mm. Well, you know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys know this about me. Yes. That's my number one pain. You can't compare. I drive down the street. Anyway, um, so I, 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 I mean, I agree with you then. Yes. Yeah, but to your point, like even in the <laughs> Philippines, like with my family, like some right. of them live in like abject poverty, but I'm telling you, they are so much happier than yeah. me in so many ways. Like their just general outlook on life and yeah. their ease about them. It's like, you know, but I, like you said, as long as they have like potable water, they have certain yes. things. And they're, I, I look at them, I'm like, fuck, like you guys are just happier. Yeah, and me. like people who like, if they're listening and they're like, fuck, you know, yeah. it's all about the money. You're just, it's anger. It's not, it has nothing to do with me or you. It's it's always typically always mm -hmm. with yourself. It's like, you are not, you're, you're comparing and you're wanting. You have this insatiable need to want more. That's why you're mad with, if you're only making $500, you have this insatiable need to get more. For me with comedy, if I want to make a certain amount of money, the reason why I won't go unless it's an X amount of dollars is because for me, I'm not going to, the only reason money makes sense for me is if it buys freedom. So I need a certain amount of money to buy me the freedom to have with my children. And if he does do that, I'd rather spend, because what I'm really, you know, I think about two banks, right? You tell me, okay, you know, our agents will say, oh, but you'll make more money. We have the same agents? I don't know. Who are you with? Jews. Me too. Obviously. WME. No. With me. Nope. Okay. <laughs> don't keep that. don't um, say our agents then. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so they are. And, mine, mine are better. And rightfully so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And right. And rightfully. And oh, I have Ken Jung's agent. And rightfully. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and rightfully so. They're going to want more money. Make you make. That's fine. But I think of two banks: the money bank and then the time bank. So how much time is it? That's the more valuable bank to me because that's the that's the, I can't replace. I can always replace money. You could always make money. Yes. I don't care if you're actually stupid. Home. You can always make money. It's America. Oh, 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 you can, can find I, I, it. time. You're not going to get back. Let me yeah. ask you. This is a real question. I'm, you know, I, I'm about jokes and you know what I mean, and verbal play, you know, and shadow play and all those things. But uh, let's be real for a second, okay? Mm. So there's a lot of times people go, um, I get offered a lot of things, mm -hmm. right? And they go, hey, can you, you want to go to Australia for this? Or do you want to do this? Yeah. It's for a you know, pretty good, decent amount really? of money, right? And I always say no. And I always say no because of the fact that I'm like, yeah, but I'd rather be here right now yep. doing, playing video games or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that, but is, I feel like, is it, is that laziness or is that what, what you're talking Does about? Does it contribute to your joy, your overall right. like? Yeah, I, I feel joy when I'm with my cats, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I feel joy when and I'm. And it's time well spent. Yes. And that is yeah. more important. What, all this, everything we've propped up is, this is all, none of this is real. Not, none of it is real. Yeah. LA is not, no, I'm saying it's, it's all propped up bullshit, mm -hmm. right? So, but then we make these things, we give ourselves so much stress and anxiety about catching the flight, getting on the, it's none of it's real. We all create it, societal. You're so right. You just, but that's why having a parent, being a kid, it's like, oh, my kid is real. My kid is the only person, my kids are the only people in the world that I didn't choose. They were chosen for me. So that's real, like unconditional love. I have unconditional love with them. It doesn't matter if they love me back. My energy is will always be love for them. And so I'm like, I want to be around that more. And then you realize real quick, that's so, real. So if you're in a mall and you have your baby, mm -hmm. an AK-47, some guy's shooting up the mall, right? Right. Would you turn away to protect your baby or would you use it as a shield? I would turn away. I would turn away to protect my baby, but I also simultaneously try. I, that'd be a nice Patreon episode. So I'd have <laughs> the views. I'd have it live on Patreon. 
The patreon.com slash Chris the Just a hero. Hero. Yeah. Wow. wow. You'd be dead though. Yeah, but I mean, but my Patreon money would go into my kids' college fund. So good. And that would be, a, I would pay for that Patreon. 100%. For sure. Why the hell not? The only if way to Stefano get that. dies? Yeah. How much? 1995. Ah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll wait till it what? goes up to $10. Patreon numbers are plummeting, so we got to do it, you know? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, so I know that that's like, you know, some of your listeners may be like, fuck you, you know, oh, stop with this, you know, philosophical bullshit. I don't know the first thing about philosophy. I'm just saying how I genuinely, viscerally feel, mm. where I'm like, I would get so bent out of shape about things that I'm only making them matter. I'm making them matter. They're not, they don't really matter. Like Alexander the Great conquered the entire world, Genghis Khan. Nobody knows. If they were walking around today, no, nobody cares. Nobody knows that they're gone. They're dead, and it's all gone. It doesn't matter. It it's doesn't, over. Wow, wow. You know? Interesting stuff. That, that's, that's, you know. That, 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 that. that is so good. Genghis Khan. Yeah. This whole podcast has been funny. No, honestly, are you being real? This is a great uh, podcast. You ready for this? Yeah, yeah. You, you ready for, you, you for what I'm about wait, to tell wait, you wait, right now? You don't think that you've had a good time here. You, uh, no, I'm having a good time. You ready? You ready for this? You yeah. ready for what I'm about to tell you? I think it's the best we've ever done. Really? Yeah. You ready for what I'm about to tell you? I'm going through this interesting thing in, in my... Maybe you can help me with this. Maybe I, I will help. With this. So I have in my career right now, you know, big shows. The biggest I've ever had in my career. The biggest venues, biggest. I can't... I feel so disconnected from comedy and so out of the game. Even though I'm telling you, in two weeks I have like 10,000 tickets sold in New York. I feel like I do not matter in this business at all, whatever power, I felt like I used to have power and be connected to it all, I feel like it's gone. And I don't know what it is. I feel like everyone else has zoomed past so comparison thing, even though- it, Like who? Give me an example who. Not even, it's not even anybody. There isn't- Like there isn't, Tignataro? There isn't one, right. Tignataro, who also is in BTS. So <laughs> I- <laughs> <laughs> So funny. So I feel this. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. So, so I feel this yeah, thing it, it, yeah. where I, I feel like I'm out of the game, right? And, yeah. and it's not, it's not oh, to, for you to tell me, no, you are. I, it, it doesn't matter. Again, my reality is, is, yeah. is, is you could tell a girl she's beautiful. If she doesn't feel it, she's not, right? So it's weird that I don't know what's happened. I don't know if you've went through this in your career where like I feel so, dis- and whatever power I had is gone. I don't know why I feel this way. Do you think it's more of just a sensory adaptation thing? Because you've been at this level for some time now. Oh, that's a good... So maybe the thrill is gone. So you think that you're not wielding a certain type of power when really it's just you're plateauing at a great place. Is it... Like you're steady up here and you've just... Now you're... Now you're familiar with the feeling of being successful. So you think that that success is not there. I never thought of it that way. Maybe, but I do feel like... It's it's like I can't get out of it. Like every morning I wake up, I'm like, oh, I can't get out but of. That's it. like him every day of his life. Like he, but I think it still goes. It ties into the wanting more, even though mm. it still ties into this idea of like getting the dopamine dopamine hit of something newer or bigger. Right. Or I think it's still all tied in. Yeah, you, you know, uh, Guy Tory once told me. Mm-hmm. You know, Guy Tory. Uh, yeah, comic. I remember from last comic stand. Yeah, yeah. So many, many years ago, like 20 years ago, I was talking to a guy and he goes, um, here's, what I, here's what makes me happy in my career. And this is all I expect. If every year I do something new, I'm good. Like material? Not just material, but like a new place. Like I remember there were times where I was like, oh, I'm in Thailand right now doing a movie. I've never done this before. Right. Every year, if something, something new happens, mm-hmm. you know, and this year I've had a lot of new things right. that occurred. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like, that's what, if it's monotonous and it's like I stay at a certain level... Even if you go down a little bit and you and you you know reinvent yourself, this and that, that's still new, right? right. So it's like you know, um, I think that should be the. I have a solution. Uh-oh. Yes. Do something so out of the box, so out of the realm of comedy, like start like a cigar, like anything that is so different from what people expect of you, right? And take a hard pivot in that direction, and maybe that will give you some kind of like, oh shit, mm. like because if you're just burnt out with comedy, podcasting all the time, doing shows, and being associated yeah. with the same people, I think take a hard left and try a hobby. Well, my mom, she had an interesting idea because I told her about this is how like crazy it's gotten in my brain. I'm like talking to my mom about this, but she was like, I don't, I don't understand. Like you're doing everything, and I was like, she was like, you know what I think you should do? You should go back 
back to physical therapy once a week. Ooh. Oh my God, yes. You have a license, you have a doctor's degree. She's like, you should go back and start treating patients once a week. It's not about the money for you, you, you know, get paid. Yeah, not a money play. No, but you should go back and do that. And I was like, huh. I'll be a yeah. client. Seriously. I literally I, would. Maybe I should. Yeah, you have your, yeah, you'd be a good go client. Ahead. You have. No, because you have, you're out of balance. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to do some sort of like, I have a roly poly body. No, 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 you don't have a, no, and by the, no, you don't have a roly poly yeah, body. Yeah. Okay, good. I think, I think you're experiencing life. You're on the journey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you look. Yeah, you're made of tofu. Silken. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's is it is it Hollywood that makes you feel that way or no? I no, well, I'm not in Hollywood, right? I mean, I'm like. But is that, is is that a desire of yours? Um, do, you, do you think that Hollywood should be calling right now going, hey, let's do these movies, let's do this, let's do that? No, I don't think that. I think that you know what happened is I think that podcasting, in a way, maybe has plateaued for me or maybe like there's a monotonous to it and so maybe it's about like that about like changing the show up or like changing something new but the tickets still sell and everything like i think it's just a different medium that people consume my comedy on now but now i'm like you know i think podcasting in general we've all went through a little bit of like it was so high in the pandemic and then it goes yeah. in like a bit of a dip mm -hmm. right and certain like i know like you know certain shows of yours have exploded but for most of us it's like it's been like this and like slowly going yours too down I mean, listen, it's still sustainable in a great like yeah. way of life. Yeah. Like, you know, like sometimes I'll get in my head, be like, I should just stop my podcast. And then I'll look, I'll be like, without me even trying, it, like it helps my family so much, you know, like, so like, I can't do that. I can't even, stop that. Listen, I want to say this to you before we end. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the honor. I'm, I'm just going to give you, tell you my honest feeling. You have it all, in my opinion, for me, you're. I, I watch you like I watch Tim Dillon, where I'm like, holy shit, I don't think I'm that good. He's so good. That's number one. Number two, I think that like you're fun to look at. You know what I mean? You're like a yeah. you're like kind of handsome, but also weird. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a, that's a weird thing you yeah. got going. And number three, there's no one on planet Earth like you. You're like an, an original, right? And I do believe that you're forever gonna be wherever you wanna be. That's how good you are. And um, I, 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 w I would fuck with you for the rest of my life. Unless you, like, did something, like, terrible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, you know, um, well, I, even if you gave me a gaping hole, it would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, I, I, I want to say. I can't even think of a. Yeah. I want to say I love you. Thank you for saying that to me. I appreciate it. It didn't make me feel any better, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> um, and I do. <laughs> I will say. You didn't. Not at all. Coming, coming full, coming yeah, full yeah. circle, full oval, full pussy. Yeah, you are definitely gaping now. Ooh. If you weren't in the beginning, you are now. I'm gaping now. I'll There's no it. way you could say something as sentimental and beautiful as you said. And yeah, be, yeah. And he's be wide close. open. You're wide open. But do you think? Open. But do you think I'm? There's no truth to what I'm saying. That I believe that. I do. I do. And I, 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 I the the. Pro I, I saw it when I. No, hold on. Okay, I saw it when, the day I met you at Opie and Anthony is when I saw it. Right. Like I normally, I, you know, I, you know, you meet people on the road, you p meet people, and you go, uh, I felt that way about Andrew Santino when I first saw him. You know, mm -hmm. I felt that way about you, Schultz. I felt that way. I, I never, I didn't even, I never even heard of him until did, we did Montreal together. Right. And I got to, I saw him perform one time, and I was like, the first time, I was just like, oh no, this guy's like the thing. Yeah. He is the it. You know, I feel that way about you. Go ahead. Um, I. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. No, anyway, let's end that podcast. Thank you. I really do think, though, that a hard pivot. I think, I'm, yeah, fuck the pivot is going to inspire. Fuck the pivot, and okay. also it will make you appreciate comedy in a different way. Yeah, like I don't know. I, th I, yeah. I I'm sensing a hard pivot. No, no, TT. You're going to be massaging. You can somebody. still keep the comedy. It's insane, dude. Uh, yeah. Be every man again. Yep. There it is. PT, PT, PT. You think I'm an everyday man? You've never yeah, been uh, an everyday man. Your laziness man. connects you with the people. <laughs> oh, that's why <laughs> slut thing yeah. kind of. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm forever connected because I'm lazy. Yeah. yeah. They have, I like they, that. You're, the, you're, you're weekend every day. I, right. That's what it is. I woke up today. I was like, what's going on? You really did. I bad, love that. Bad mood kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was kind of in a bad but mood. Now you're in a great mood. Now you're in a good mood. Yeah. Well, I saw you. I was like, oh, let's do it. I could tell. Yeah, you're yeah. Better mood. Um, anything you want to say? What's up? You want to no? Anything you guys want to get more abortions? <laughs> <laughs> no more. No, I'm gonna get knocked up by a rando. That's my point. really. All right. Do you want them to be white? No, no, no. Asian. What? He's a brown. Asian. Asian Filipino. Yeah, more the browns. Yeah. The browns. I like Filipino. That's my favorite uh, favorite group. Thank you. Because 
Asian, yeah. like. Okay, you, thanks for coming. No, they look Puerto Rican. Thanks for coming, man. Oh. Yeah. Give Chris the final round. Christy comedy. Everybody. Donnie, I'm a couple of